Yeah, it's like that's like my dating life. It's just like survival of the fittest. It's like I, I I'll throw. <laughs> I was actually just so I had a first date in the like the first date I've gone on in the longest time, uh, earlier today. And this girl was like um, asking me my dating life, and I was just calling girls in front of her. I you know, I did. I, I went on a Spreadshirt. And I was creating a T-shirt design for buy girls only. So like in front of her, I'm like, "Are you buy?" She's like, "No, I'm not buy." I'm like, "Oh fuck." I got a sick Isn't design already for the, for that t-shirt. Anyways, yeah. So I went on like a little t-shirt thing. And I was, I was doing like a little graphic for like bios only in front of this girl. And I'm like calling girls in front of her. And like, it's funny. Cause like before that, she wasn't really down to fuck. But then after, uh, I'm like calling these girls in front of her. Cause like, I was just like thinking like this girl's sucking my dick, but she's not down to hook up. Um, I'm just like, okay, whatever. Right. So I'm like calling these girls in front of her and inviting all these girls to the, the yacht party we're doing on Sunday. <laughs> and after that, it's just like, I guess she just saw like, okay, she's got competition. So she like had sex with me. It's so fucking trippy. And I feel like this is my dating life. Instead of like going on dates and trying to like, you know, like woo the girl and do all these fucking things. Yeah, of course. I literally just throw parties on Friday night, Saturday night. It's like your birthday party this weekend. I'm going to have fucking 500 girls there. Do you get annoyed right? when a girl don't hook up, doesn't hook up with you now? I don't necessarily get annoyed. I'm just like peasant. <laughs> Pe what, what, I'm like, I don't like imagine like fucking Ariana Grande knocking your fucking door and be like, hey, daddy, let me suck your dick. Like, that's how I feel about myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like in my head, I'm like, I'm hotter than most of these girls. I'm better looking. I have a better skincare routine. I smell better. I look better. I make more money. I'm more successful. Right? It doesn't come from a place of ego, but it's just like from a logical standpoint, like I'm making them comfortable. Mm -hmm. Especially uh, I'm your super time respectful. Is so valuable. That too. That's your time. time. Is so valuable. Right? So I'm like, this girl's like, oh, we can hook up the next date. We can hook up the next date. And in my head, I'm like, well, like I don't say this, but like in my head, I'm thinking like, if we don't hook up today, there's not gonna be a next date. Because I don't want to go on fucking four dates with this fucking girl just to have her like keep pushing off sex when I can just hang out with another girl who's giving me sex right away. Uh -huh. Right? I already have a rotation of girls. Right? But I don't want to tell her this because I don't want to challenge her ego or trigger her or upset her. Mm -hmm. Right? It depends how much I like the girl's personality. Yeah, but the thing is, I will like the girl's personality more if I hook up with her. 100%. You know what I mean? This if is what girls on the don't first realize. It's like when, when I don't know what it is or is it just us, but when a girl hooks up with you, I would... Like right away, I almost like her a lot more. Me too. Every time I hear a girl say, um, this is going to sound fucked. She's like, well, I don't kiss guys on the first day. I'm just like, all right. I'm like, I, I got to go do my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's what I mean. It's like, I'd rather, you know, like there's like a million things on my to-do list. Like, yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's not, okay. It's not that I only want sex from her. It's just that. You know, I don't, I don't play games, you know, it's like, well, the thing is, if she's not going to so fuck you, it's valuable. like, is she even into you? Exactly. You know what I mean, that's like what goes through my head. I'm like, I have all these other girls who want to have sex with me all the time because I've already hooked up with them. They're now emotionally attached. Right. So if she doesn't want to fuck me, that means she's not as into me as these other girls, which logically makes sense because these other girls are more emotionally attached, but that means it's like, you're not high level, high level enough to be on my rotation. Right. But I will be patient and I'll give it time and I'll make her comfortable and I'll show her, I'll, I'll let her, I love, I told this girl, I'm like, look, we don't do anything you're uncomfortable with. I just think you're hot and I want to fuck you. That's what I told her. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I'm not the kind of guy who'd be pushy. It's just like, Hey, like here's the deal. I only have this certain amount of time to hang out with you. If you're not down to do anything, I respect that. Have a great day. I have, I have See you in the next life. I have. Hopefully our paths will cross again in the future. <laughs> <laughs> exactly you know I mean? in the most respectful way like no pressure yeah you do you you know yeah like that's the thing i, like, I, only I, don't, I don't need sex i don't even need the sex it's like not even a big deal no it's not a, but it's, it's like all right then deal. we're definitely not gonna hang out again because it's like you're probably not into me that's like what goes in my head and i think most high value guys think like this as well because it's like here's the thing most guys aren't getting this many options with girls yeah like club promoters nightlife photographers you know social media content creators right uh most or like like, like we get like we get more girls than a lot of like rappers, DJs, like successful guys, right? Yeah. And so when we're surrounded with a lot of girls and a girl sh like wants to make us wait, in my head, I'm just like, fuck, she's not into me. When that's not actually true, probably she's actually really into me, but she just, she just has like a four date rule or whatever. Not, it's okay and I respect that, but just I don't have time to take you on four dates because I've calculated that every time I go on a date with a girl, it usually costs me around two to $3,000. That's why I don't do dates anymore. Most of the time is culture. Like Ukrainian girls and a lot of like Middle Eastern girls yeah, and like Russian girls, they for usually sure. have like a rule. Like I've exactly. lived in Ukraine like for like six months and I, I know the culture, you know, every single girl I hung out with, I'm not going to step into your apartment after, you know, like 
on the first night. Like, yeah, you got to wait like three, three dates. And I, that's respectable. You know, I have a lot of like Ukrainian friends, but I just like every time you do a Ukrainian girl, no matter how cute she is, I don't expect anything. I well, immediately friends yeah. on them. The thing is, if you look back at our podcast where I'm like, stop hooking up with lots of guys if you're a girl, otherwise you're fucking all right, right? Like, obviously it's a big exaggerate and it's a joke, but like, I actually respect girls who have that rule. Yeah. But for me, there's, there's a like, lot of guys out there that would wait. Yeah, exactly. But like, I'm just not that kind of guy. I just can't Definitely do it because I don't have the time. That's why I, dude, that's why I don't do dates. I just throw parties and invite all my Tinder dates from the week or all the girls I cold approach or all the fucking girls on my Instagram who want to hang out with me, who like me. Like last Saturday, bro, it was so fucked up. I'm at the rub. I'm at the club, okay? And I've got a table in the middle of the dance floor. So I've got girls coming off the dance floor trying to join my booth at my table, right? I have girls I cold... I actually cold approach these two girls who are really fucking not even that attractive. I was just like being friendly and like warming myself up socially. And this one girl, like super ugly little like Indian girl, right? She grabs her friend. She's like, uh, we're lesbians. And I literally look at her. I'm like, I'm not fucking hitting on you. Like, what the fuck? Right? Like, because I, I get my head, I'm like, peasant. Like, Bitch a peasant. Like, you're not hot enough for me to hit on you. I was just being nice. I was just trying to make friendly conversation. And, you, and like this girl's like so entitled, thinks I'm fucking hit on her. Anyway, so the, these yeah. girls approach me in my booth after. They start talking to me. I'm just like ignoring them. I'm just like, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so I had like five groups of girls. Five or maybe six groups of girls, which each each group of girls is like four, five, six, seven girls itself. So it's like, I don't do the math. There's like 30, 40 girls there, right? And one to two girls from each group of girls are coming on to me. So I probably had like five or six girls aggressively yeah. coming on to me that night. You, you you put your life in a way where you don't have to hit on girls. Dude, they were competing I, over my attention. I, they were competing. Like, it was like, like, I'm used to this, but this was like an extreme example because no other guy on my table is hanging on any girls. Yeah. These girls all use my guests to show up. They all show up to see me, right? And to yeah. have a fun party as well, Right. And like this one girl was just sitting by me for an hour, just like feeding my ego, telling me how nice I am and how cool I am and how like, what a good person I am. And I'm like, you don't even fucking know me. I'm just like, what the, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Just cause she follows my Instagram. She sees like the stories, right? Right. Because what will happen is a girl will rationalize why they like you. Like a girl can be like, like, like you and be attracted to you. And so she's rationalizing. Cause what she's saying isn't necessarily even true. Cause this girl even like, does she even know me at all? Right. She just like came to this judgment from my Instagram stories, but and it wasn't far off. But it's like, how does she know? She doesn't really even know me, right? I might be this total douchebag manipulative dude, but I am an actually nice guy and she was right about everything she's saying. Mm -hmm. But the, what she was actually doing was being attracted to me and rationalizing why she's attracted to me. It's really funny. And that's such a better date in my opinion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because again, if you go on a date, if you're a guy who makes a lot of money, if you make six figures or more, especially if you're self-employed, let's say you make six figures, mid six figures, seven figures or more, Right, every time you're going on a fucking date, you could be closing another deal, another contract, another client sale. That's worth a so lot of ROI, fucking money, yeah. dude. That's worth a lot of money. Like, there's some guys out there where a date would cost them ten thousand dollars, and that's why you got a lot of rich dudes who will take girls on dates and they'll spend like a thousand dollars a date, and the girls are just like, "What the fuck?" So, an example would be like Tony Robbins, right? Most people know Tony Robbins as like this public speaker guy, and he's married now. I think the when he was single. Here's what I remember from my friend went to one of his seminars. He openly like just closed this. Um, when he was single, he had a resort in Fiji, Hawaii. And he would fly 18, like, you know, 18 to 20 girls yep. to him. And he was just like hang, hang out with one of them, you know, one a day. You and know, he, he was just, doing that in his 20s, right? He, he was doing that in his 20s. He would just like fly girls out. Yeah, and in he was doing in his fucking 20s in his resort. Savage as fuck. Just, you know, Tony Robbins and his wife are swingers. They're swingers. Like they put, they pull bitches together, but, um, that's a, that's a side note. Right. But yeah, he was, um, he was, uh, fucking, uh, flying girls out all the time. Cause exactly. like, it's more like time a, efficient. Of course. Like he's at a position in his life where, you know, to get coached by Tony Robbins, you probably have to one, have a net worth of a billion dollars and a minimum of a million dollar for coaching one-on-one -on -one for one session. You and know. like how much would a flight cost to Fiji, right? A couple thousand dollars. <laughs> Tops. Maybe a exactly. thousand bucks round trip from the States. So yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. My name is Justin Mark, international dating coach, relationship expert, and VIP lifestyle development coach. I've been teaching dating, day game, soul skills, and lifestyle development in 50 countries 
in six continents over the last 10 years to thousands of guys just like you. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about this stuff, you can go to justinmark.com and you can schedule a call with me. I will personally call you. Okay. We'll talk. We'll get to know each other and we'll see how we can potentially even work together. And the best part is we'll help you get your ducks in a row will help you with an action plan on how to change your life. And if you guys want, you can go to wingmanpodcast.com. Check out our podcast. It's amazing. It's an amazing dating podcast I do with my co-host, Matt Levine. And then you can also go to my Instagram, my new Instagram, drunkjustin2. Okay, my new Instagram. And you can watch my daily Instagram stories where I'm always doing crazy, crazy things, parties, events, caught girls, the craziest things. And uh, you can actually watch my stories there and you can also message me if you have any questions. You can reply to my stories and I'll be sure to message you back. And please subscribe here on YouTube, my YouTube channel here, Justin Mark. Click the bell notification so you're notified of new videos and we will see you guys very soon in a new video. If you like this video, I really appreciate if you leave a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I will talk to you guys soon. My name is Justin Mark and I'll see you next time.